idea that'll come in handy. Do you love to open the window to let in the fresh air in your room, but hate it when the door slams? Well, today's DIY room decor idea is a dotted door stopper. With this, you can stop the wind from slamming your door, or maybe even keep someone out if you don't have a lock on your door. I hope you like this video, and please comment and like below if you like it on the way, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get started! Things you will need for your dotted door stopper are scissors, a pencil or pen, a brick, a large rock, or a solid piece of wood, some acrylic paint, paint brushes and or dotting tools, a palette to put your paint on, Mod Podge, and some soft material. First, lay your piece that you're painting in front on your working space, making sure it is all clean. Next, we will be using some acrylic paint to paint the entire area except for the base, as it will not be showing. I will be using white acrylic paint for mine. Once it is dry and complete, we are going to paint it by adding dots throughout your entire piece. To apply the dots, you can use a dotting tool with different size ends, or you can use a paintbrush at the base, or even at the tip, painting on a circle. First, we are going to start at the center of the piece. I want to make a large circle to start with, so I'm going to use the tip of my paintbrush to color it in. dots around the dot throughout the entire piece. You can use as many colors as you'd like while going around the dot. I'm going to use black acrylic paint and a dotting tool. When applying your dots, it is best to start from one end to the opposite end to get even spacing. using the end of a paintbrush for a larger size to go between my black dots. Next, just continue this process throughout your entire piece and have fun! Once you are done and your piece is dry, you're going to use Mod Podge to put on the entire piece to help give it a gloss and prevent chipping. And finally, once that is dry, place your piece on the soft material and trace around it with your pencil or pen. Then cut it out with a pair of scissors. And lastly, add Mod Podge to one side of your soft material and add it to the base of your piece. This helps the door stopper from scratching your floor. And you're done! Thanks for watching and please leave any comments or questions below and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next Friday with another DIY tutorial. Bye!